Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. The Prime Minister is defending his government's first budget amid predictions inflation will soar to 8% by the end of the year. After lifting the official cash rate by a quarter of a percent yesterday, the RBA is warning homeowners of further pain with interest rates likely to rise again next month. But Anthony Albanese is defending the lack of cash handouts in Labor's blueprint, saying it would be counterproductive. Inflation is in double digits in part- parts of Europe and North America. It's why our budget was a responsible budget. It's why we targeted cost of living relief to areas that didn't place pressure on inflation. Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor says the pressure of inflation on household budgets is eating away at Australia's post-pandemic gains. And a budget that fails to treat the inflation problem at its source is a budget that fails to support Australians through symptoms of these cost of living pressures. Officials insist there was never any danger to the public when five lions escaped from their enclosure at Sydney's Taronga Zoo this morning. The adult and four cubs were rounded up shortly after making their way out of the enclosure before the zoo had opened for the day. Executive Director Simon Duffy says an investigation is underway. They did breach the containment fence. We don't have the exact details of how and why that occurred. That is very much a focus of our incident response and also the review that will be conducted now. The Sydney TikToker who made headlines for claiming to predict daily COVID case numbers has been spared a conviction for encouraging people to flout pandemic rules. John Bernard K. Roos has been sentenced to a two-year conditional release order. More than a 1,000 Volkswagen Golf cars are being recalled across Australia. Due to a manufacturing issue, the radiator may not be properly secured in some models made between 2019 and 2022. Microplastics have been found to be capable of carrying viruses for at least 10 days. A study's found one in two tested viruses could still be detected on polystyrene particles after more than a week, meaning there could be an increased risk of transmission through waterways and the environment. In sport, Australian trio Aaron Finch, Marcus Stoinis and Tim David have all trained after suffering varying levels of hamstring injuries in Monday's World Cup win over Ireland. The Aussies face a must-win against Afghanistan on Friday to keep their 2020 World Cup defence alive. Ten debutantes will feature for the Gillaroos when they begin their Women's Rugby League World Cup campaign against the Cook Islands in the UK tomorrow morning and champion horse Gold Trip will have a spell after Tuesday's Melbourne Cup triumph. In entertainment news, while Taylor Swift has announced her first tour in five years, there's still no word on when she'll head down under. The singer set to hit the road for her Era's Stadium tour with 90 new songs and a star cast of musicians. James Corden has apologised to Ricky Gervais after ripping off one of the comedian's stand-up jokes word for word during his late-night talk show. Corden says it was an inadvertent mistake but was a brilliant joke because it was one of Ricky's. And Drake, Jamie Foxx and Khloe Kardashian have led tributes over Migos' rapper takeoff. The 28-year-old gunned down at a private party in Houston, leaving fans distraught at the news. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast news team, but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.